Hello everyone, this is Seraphira, and welcome back to Going Medieval. So here we are at the village of Tirislim. Um, they're kind of cleaning up the body so far. It is the autumn, day 12. It's still year 1353. I wonder if this pyre will put out heat. I don't know if I want people out here in the winter so standing near a pyre to get warm, uh, but the winter is coming. And we're actually really low on wood. This requires clay, um, which I should probably try to find if they haven't finished building it. Uh, I don't want to take that. I think that's dirt, actually. Grass. Okay, so I want to keep the grass. I'm sure you're grass. So what I need to do is go find some some clay. And this is coal. Rocky soil, limestone. Um, need to find some clay because I need to get this smelter finished. Uh, I also need wood. Uh, that's still growing. And the growth is halted because of low temperature already. Uh, so I may need to go out and take down some other trees. It's a good thing I've got these growing. This is mature, so we may as well chop it down. I really don't want to lose these trees inside, but uh, we need the wood pretty badly, especially with winter on its way. Uh, but some of these trees... I've seen have regrown on their own. Um, this one's dead. Let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of these dead ones. Kind of let the the live ones out there keep growing. Let's see if this helps with our wood situation. Especially, I don't want to be out here in the winter looking for wood. That one's also dead. So, just to start out, um, we do need we do need this wood. Thankfully, everyone's agrees with me and is out on their way to get uh, get supply of this wood. I'll have to get a couple more here. Um, we're burning the the bodies from the last attack. There's uh, four left. Just gotta remember to always keep this on as having a mount. I guess I could say forever. Uh, that way it means whenever there's a body ready to be burned, we'll just burn it. So um, should have thought about that before. Let's let's do something similar here uh, until I have um, let's say 200. I, I don't know if that's a good amount or not, but that's what to go for. We have 42 out of 200 right now. Uh, we should do the same thing with our smoker, which I believe is complete in here. So we got the smoker inside. As you can see, I've got a ton of limestone just sitting around because we don't have the storage spot for it. So let's just make this forever because I always want you smoking the meat. As long as there's meat to be had, they should be smoking it. Um, we need the wood in order to build the, the brewing station inside, which it looks like we have now. So once that's done, we can change this uh, to stop. In fact, I think I'm going to, this isn't working, so I'm going to turn it off. Uh, and we're going to lower this so that we're only making one. And then once that's done, we can get rid of uh, the brewing station outside. So I'm going to let the, the, the villagers work on all these things. Ralph is kind of having a hard time here. I probably need to look at his jobs. So I'm going to let them work on these, these items out here and... Uh, 
Uh, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, well, it is winter day one, um, and apparently we've already got snow. Uh, let's just say what the temperature, temperature is. The settlers are exhausted. Um, negative, about negative four outside Fahrenheit. Um, I did change that to a Fahrenheit. Now it's negative seven, so it continues to drop. Hopefully, they're all good. I don't see anything saying, hey, this is awful right now. Apparently, they only want to go 21 degrees, so uh, we're at negative. Um, 12 is the lowest I see so far. 11, 21, 12, 24. Okay, so uh, they're not going to like this negative degrees here. Um, let's bring this down a little bit and check out our... Sturdy linen. So negative 24 comfortable. So if we can get people wearing some better clothes. Uh, flimsy linen. Let's just have a look at Osgood since he's already awake. Good wool. Minus 3 minimum. Comfortable temperature. 33 maximum. For good wool linen. Um, flimsy wool. Sturdy linens on uh, summer. So that one's zero, but this one's negative three. Yeah, I really don't see a whole lot of things that show a, a negative temperature. Um, this already says negative three, so he's already wearing something that's pretty good. So, um, I guess we're just going to have to see how this goes. I guess we've got some research available. I uh, don't know if I should be making clay bricks. Um, I'll make those soon enough. Fletching requires... Oh, okay, there's the event for winter. Winter held tears in this ice grip. So the settlers gathered around the fire on long dark evenings. They needed to bundle up in warm clothing and heat their chambers to beat the chill. Not sure how I'm going to heat the, ch the chambers. Low temperatures, high chance of snowfalls and blizzards. Chance of cold snaps. Vegetation will not grow in low temperatures. So ensure that you s sow and harvest as much as you can before winter starts. Um, hopefully we've done that. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we might not survive this winter. Um, settlers are suffering from cold. Okay, well, as far as research goes, I think I want to go with uh, fletching. Um, but I need 30, and we got 16. So we'll just let them continue to work on that. Uh, I need another... I need at least another 14. Um, so what I need to do is figure out how to get this, the chambers warm in here. Um, plus we're starving. Why are you starving? We got, we have food. We got lots of food. I uh, probably need to get this covered. I wonder if I should just. I don't know what I should do. All right, well, <laughs> I'm going to kind of figure this out. Um, I think as far as they're doing inside, there's no snow. Um, I don't know if I would call this warm in there. Um, there we go. So 18 degrees inside. Um, this one's in the storage room is minus 2. In here is minus 5. But this is considered inside because I have walls. This is considered outside because um, I'm still using limestone. So once I get this complete, I need to start, especially with the bedroom, 
is to start lining it with um, limestone walls so that it's considered inside, which will be warmer. Um, and this is considered inside as 23 degrees inside. So as long as we keep our people inside during the winter, um, we should be fine. We just got to find things for them to do inside. Unfortunately, I've got my smithy out here, but I don't have the, the clay for it anyway. Uh, yes, the joys of winter. So, all right, guys, I'm going to let this go a little bit, and um, I'll see you in a little while. Okay, so we're only on day two, um, and our food supply is not good at all. I don't know how long winter lasts, if it lasts the entire, it seemed like it was 15 days per uh, season. Uh, hopefully it only lasts five. <laughs> uh, what I need to do is I'm going to hit pause. Let's see. Yep, there goes Maria to eat. We're down 15, down to 14. Martin's eating over here. All right, Maria. I need you to not mine right now. Let's hit pause. I, okay, she does have a longbow. I don't know why she isn't hunting those. I know it's cold out, uh, but I'm not sure why she isn't hunting the deer and the, the rabbits that are up here. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is have her attack, and we'll see how this works. Let's go with the deer. This weapon cannot damage this target. Maybe that's why she's not hunting. Because she's got the wrong bow. Um, Herefrith. Jobs. He's also got hunting on his skills. So let's have him. This weapon cannot damage this target. I don't want to drop it. Let's try this. This weapon cannot damage this target. I don't understand. Bonus attack when used from higher ground. Yeah, it's not doing great on hit points. I just don't know, maybe I'm not allowed to attack. Um, all right, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see if I can get you to a spot where, like here, you get to the spot. Maybe that's what the problem is, is that they're in an area where you can't. Do the same thing with Maria. Hopefully this doesn't kill them. My, oop, no, I, I do want you to come out here, Maria. Okay, and unpause it. And it's settlers are idle. Yeah, it's, maybe she can't get to that area, which kind of stinks. Um, all right, let's pause this. All right, so what I need to figure out, and obviously building stairs to get up there right now is not a good solution. Not in the middle of the winter. All right, so you can come up this way. All right, well, I'm going to figure this out, <laughs> and I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so what it appears is that somehow they're not might be able to find a path up there. Uh, so these guys are kind of safe at the moment. I'll have to figure out how to run up there and scare them down. Uh, but for now, I have Maria and Herefrith after this wolf. Um, the, wolf's, the wolf will attack back. And here comes Maria. Oh, actually, that's Maria. So Herefrith is on his way.
but this should at least supply us with some meat, um, hopefully. Yeah, it says the wolf is running away. It's... Oh. What are you doing here, Frith? All right, well, she got him. So, uh, she's on her way back. Everyone's leveling up back at home. Settlers are suffering from the cold, so hurry up and get back. Uh, it is a little cold outside. All right, I think this episode is running a little long already. So, uh, as you can see, winter is not easy to get through. Uh, I probably have way too many settlers they're eating way too much food um, it might be beneficial to not accept some settlers every once in a while um, but Maria's back she's gonna put some food down hopefully nobody goes and tries to eat the raw meat because we still do have some smoked meat Is somebody already trying? To, okay, good. Ralph is, is working on uh, chopping up the meat. I'm just curious to see what this is going to get us. Because then someone's going to have to go and smoke it. <laughs> but, yep, as you can see, winter isn't... Uh, you can't grow anything. It's hard to go outside and hunt. It's uh, your food supplies go down really quick, especially when you have as many settlers as I do, which is probably way too many. Uh, there we go. I suppose Oz good is sleeping. He's our normally our cook. Here we go. Uh, yes, he's sleeping now. Great. Who else do I have that's set for culinary or cooking? Ralph. So. All right, is this actually working here? Waiting for a couple more resources. I think it's just waiting for wood. Waiting for worker, and of course, Ralph does not have the skill. <laughs> well, Oscar's on the way. And he's not doing anything. What are you eating, smoked meat, hopefully? You can see we're down to five raw meat and four smoked meat. So I don't know what this is going to supply once Osgood starts cooking. But <laughs> we're going to leave it as Tears Lane is not in a good condition right now. We're going to have to figure out how to go hunt those animals at the top of the mountain. But um, I guess with that said, <laughs> as always, uh, really thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, hopefully my settlers will survive the winter. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. All right, everyone. Bye-bye.